No, you can't get up there. Daisy's curious. Her says, are those baby lizards? Because they're really cool. No, you can't have them. No, you can't. So I had a client hand me a bunch of eggs from a bearded dragon that actually had been uh, consummated, male and female. Um, and uh, anyway, we've been waiting here for over two months for these guys to hatch. And I've got a monkey climbing in my lap. No, you cannot have this lizard egg. <laughs> That's her bitching at us. Anyway. Oh, it's alive. There it is. Okay, well, this is obviously premature. It's way, way past the time. It was the last of the eggs. Well, there's one right there that we're gonna break into in just a second. Um, it was the last of the eggs, but, and this is a little eyes open. Oh, man. All right, give me a minute. Soon, get this guy out of here. Might not make it. I'm gonna keep these guys hydrated, do my best. But these guys were, they thought for sure they were stuck in these eggs. They're way, way, way past their incubation date. Which means either these guys were fertilized long after at this date, the way they're looking, you know, two or more weeks afterwards, the clients just weren't watching close enough and they were actually still bumping uglies. Um, but, ah, oh, it's just... <laughs> I've, I've had to fight the powers that be in this house from throwing these eggs away ever since the beginning. I ended up getting rid of two... That's okay, girl. I ended up getting rid of two complete batches of eggs because they were definitely rotten and gone. Um, and we had down these last two and uh, made the decision to open these up to see because they were starting to dehydrate quite a bit. Turns out that uh, Mother Nature was still working. And I have screwed that up. How y'all feeling, Bill and Cruz? Y'all feeling all right? Of the two left over, this is the one that shows the most uh, development. Unfortunately, I have not gotten any sign of movement from this guy yet. But that yoke. Definitely looks like it's okay.
Yeah, it looks like rigor mortis is set on on this one. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so we're looking at this thing here. Looks like this guy just died like within the last day. So what you're looking at is a stillborn, still hatched, <laughs> Pagona Viticeps. Just sadness. This guy is pretty well formed, so let me see if I can get this guy in some fluid. Keep him hydrated, and we still may have a chance. Okay, let me get busy. This guy needs some, some hydration. That's beautiful. Let this be a lesson to all of us. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. And anytime we think we can do something better than Mother Nature, millions of years of trying and trying, and then everything that we see is what millions of years of trying and trying has accomplished. And the second that you think in your tiny, minuscule lifespan in the grand scheme of things can outthink, outperform, and do better than this process, you are fooling yourself and you're making a fool of the rest of us. This is the miracle of life. Think of all the tiny cells that are making up that creature. All those cells are working in conjunction right there in that one little slide. You are looking at the yellow part of the yolk that's just basically storage material. All those little blood vessels that you see running around there are going through the umbilicus and picking up the, the stuff from here taking it to that beautiful little creature, and all these things are working in concert. If any one of those things goes wrong, then this creature won't live. And now I've got to correct my mistake, if I can. But looking at this guy over here, it looks like I cut in and did this invasive procedure a little too late, especially for him. But this guy still got a chance. All right, I'm gonna get busy. Okay, quick recap. I had uh, some eggs that were left with me because um, the clients weren't having any luck hatching them. So <laughs> I volunteered to try, um, or just to watch them. Anyway, uh, kept them in a nice warm spot. Uh, they were actually over top of the frog cage, which stays pretty warm. It's got heaters in it. Uh, the sunroom I'm in, uh, the room I'm in actually keeps a pretty high humidity. Um, and as well, it also stays relatively warm because we have windows everywhere. And uh, it gets the morning sunshine, the afternoon sunshine. As a matter of fact, this is Daisy's room. So just, uh, Daisy's been watching these guys inadvertently, didn't even know what she was doing. But she's been watching these guys for a while. So. Every once in a while, I would get a text from the client. I would go check on the eggs. I, it was obvious a lot of them were not gonna make it. We were down to our last two eggs in our last container. And uh, Luanda in her infinite wisdom, yesterday I said, oh, I didn't check on the eggs today. Go check on them, and I guess she forgot to. Uh, so she checked on them this morning, and you know, uh, <laughs> patience is not everyone's favorite forte. But as I'm looking at it, she was, uh, you know, just one of those things like, okay, it's time to cut into them and look and see, because they are well past 
two weeks past due. Um, I even gave them a longer um, incubation period and this room stays extremely warm. Anyway, so with that in mind, these uh, one was they're, 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 one was still born or still hatched or however you want to call it. I cut into it and it was definitely dead. Rigor mortis had set in. It wasn't stinking yet. But anyway, with, with that in mind, uh, it was very, very desiccated and it probably just died very recently. This one I cut open and it's definitely premature. So how do you know? How can you know? Um, anyway, there's that baby right there. The egg's been cut into. Uh, that is a um, stainless steel bowl. It's been freshly washed, disinfected, um, clean, disinfected, the whole routine. Uh, there is a sterile saline and glucose solution, dextrose solution, on top of sterile um, lap sponges. So those have all been uh, clean and sterilized before. These are, you know, these are good prep for human surgery, so they should be extremely good and sterile. Then I put sterile, sterile dextrose on top of it. The theory is if this little guy here, or girl, I'm not trying to be sexist. If uh, this little girl here guy uh, is able to survive, okay, then probably dehydration is the worst part. Um, now that the egg is open, it can actually get a little bit more oxygen. And although the eggshell itself is torn, the fact that it's open means our buddy here probably will not suffocate. Um, but I don't know. It's hard to see how these guys are going to do um, and predict. So what's going to happen is the camera there is already set up. It's on uh, it's on time lapse. It's taking a picture every second. So we'll be able to monitor this guy and see if it makes it or not. You can still see the yolk there. Everything is intact. The baby just needs to make sure now that the shell is broken that we don't dehydrate. So we are on a bed of fluid that actually is going to produce or provide some nutrition as far as glucose goes, but that, uh, that egg yolk sac in itself should be all that we need. The question is, how much damage has been done? Are there any other issues with this baby? And it's so small, you can't do any diagnostics. You just have to wait and see. But that's where we're at. Wish this baby luck. All right, we're monitoring. It is <clears throat> Saturday morning. Um, we unraveled this guy yesterday. Oh, girl, I'm trying to be sexist. I'm not seeing any movement this morning, but uh, if you have the camera over top to document anything that's going on. As of last night, it was still moving, still with us, which is still a miracle in itself. The yolk actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm um, should probably add a little bit more fluid to this so we don't. Uh, Sanguinate this creature. All right, I'll be doing some touching in a minute. 